there's a proverb that's usually associated with parenting. But this, also, this proverb also applies to teachers. And the proverb says, teach a child the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. We all have teachers that we admire. We all have teachers that we can look back to and say, well, I'm here because of you. And I know that we have teachers in our school who are role models to our children, who are more role models to the staff. So I want to invite our, our principal. You heard her prayer, prayer this morning. Um, she, as she stated in the prayer, we, we're starting this journey together. And um, I can't think of a, a better opportunity than this to reintroduce her and, and invite her to introduce her team because we are here to support our Christian school. Mm-hmm. So... So I'm going to ask teachers, you don't have to come up to the stage, um, if, because what we're going to do is once you are introduced, I'm going to invite the elders to come up, and so we're going to stand behind you. We're not going to lay hands on you, um, the whole COVID thing has kind of, s- but we'll just raise our hands above you. Uh, in, in a way of praying and anointing prayer for you. So as your name is called, um, teacher. Um, I'd like to invite you to come forward and just stand here and after Loy introduces you. Good morning once again. It is uh, my pleasure to introduce to you the most amazing set of teachers that I've come across. Um, So first, I'm I'm kind of, my heart is broken because our office assistant was not able to make it. She is the glue of the school. She keeps everything together. So Sabrina, if you're watching online, um, she was trying to make it, but she wasn't able to know that you are lifted up in this prayer as well. Um, I would like for, let's, um, Jenny, uh, Jenny, are you in here this morning? Look, I can't recognize you guys with all your masks and stuff all wrapped up. But this is our kindergarten teacher. And Jenny is not, I have to, in my little short time being here, can I introduce you to Christ exemplified. Amen. So she is so amazing. Girl, stay where are you here, going? Stay here. Where are you going? <laughs> so she is so amazing. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I could do a sermon just on her by herself. Um, so this is our kindergarten teacher and my first and second grade teacher, um, Miss Zanilla Robinson. If you would please come down. And Miss Zanilla Robinson, this is an individual who listens to the word of God and who was able to say, Father God, because you're calling me from such a far away, I will come and I'm willing to do what you've called me to do. So that's Miss Robinson coming, um, coming to us this year, who's new this year from the Duluth Adventist Christian School that I'm kind of familiar with. So yeah, thank you for being with us, um, Zanilla. And our third and fourth grade teacher, Miss Annalise Perry. And Miss Perry is an awesome, oh, I like your outfit, girl. You, you thought like me this morning, okay? And uh, Ms. Paris is our awesome third and fourth grade teacher, and she is a Mrs. Green, whatever you need, I'm here. So uh, such an amazing set of teachers. And fifth and sixth grade, yours truly. But my seventh and eighth grade teacher that I'll be co-teaching with, partner teaching with those middle schoolers, this is Ms. Jessica Cantron. Okay. <laughs> These individuals that you may see in front of you, they may be few in numbers, but they are mighty in the God that they serve. They are so amazing. And Susan, if it's okay, because you're going to be there so much, can you please come down as well? Come on, girl. Come on. Get up. Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, you know, you are, you are beautiful all day, all the time. Come down here. And um, uh, so these are teachers, Pastor, and um, I'm going to allow you to do what you're doing. <laughs> You can hold on to that. They'll, they'll, they'll mute it. Um, I'll invite the elders. Ladies, if you can come a little bit more front and center, don't be shy. Um, this is your moment. But I'd like to invite the elders to come forward. I also want to invite the school board chair, uh, Marianne. Uh, if you can come and join us, please. Um, elders, I want you to fill in here in the, in the behind us. So we're going to... 
it's going to look maybe a little bit different than what I would like to do because uh, in non-COVID times, um, we would actually form up a circle and we would uh, come around them as elders and, and lay hands on them. I invite you to uh, also, I know this is a teacher dedication and we are highlighting the, our school, but do we have any other teachers here who teach? I'd like to you to come forward as well. Um, <laughs> okay. So we know we have, these are current teachers, and I know we have former teachers, right? How many here are former teachers? By a show of hands. Okay. If you are a former teacher, in this case, I think it's just you, Kennedy, I want you to join us here as with the elders, to, and you feel free to bring your, your little one as well. Okay. You you can come and join Martin. So ladies, thank you so much. Uh you are an ambassador not just from the church, but you're an ambassador of God to the classrooms that you oversee, the children's the children that you teach. So I invite you with me as we pray for them to um, bow your heads as we lift them up and we use this opportunity to dedicate them to our God. Father God, what an awesome privilege you've given us to come today to pray over this special group of people. Lord, these are women that you have called to lead, you have called to teach, you have called to disciple. You have called to exemplify the calling that you have laid in, you put on their hearts. And we pray, Father, that as the children that come into that school, to their classrooms, to those that, that they come in contact with, Lord, may they, once they engage with the, the, those children, may those children feel as they've spoken to God themselves. May they be led by your Spirit. May they speak words that come from on high. And we pray that you extend this blessing to their families. Because they're not doing this by themselves. They, they, they need the support of their families as well. Thank you, Father, for what you have done for them, through them already. And we look forward to seeing how you will work in them and through them in the future. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.